Hey guys, it's Dietitian Sandra here, and I'm going to be starting a new video series of different questions that people are asking out on Reddit and other platforms. And I'm going to be streaming to you my analysis and my recommendations and what I would do with them if they were my client. So the very first one I'll be talking about today, and I'm going to read to you the actual prompt, and then we're going to go over everything that we just learned about this guy, and I'll give you my recommendations. Here it goes. I am a 27 male, height 172 centimeters, weight 89 kilograms, and I have calculated my TDEE. TDEE is the total number of calories your body burns in a single day. Think of it like the fuel a car needs to run. And it says I need 160 grams of protein per day to build muscle. I work out every day, alternating between cardio and weight training, mostly body weight, but I can't reach my protein goals. I can get as much as 100 to 110 grams of protein in me per day. Is it enough for me to lose weight and build muscle? Do I absolutely have to get those 160 grams of protein per day? First of all, my very first question is, you work out every single day. Every single day without rest. As an exercise physiologist, I would be asking myself, okay, so if you're working out every single day, when does your body have time to rest and recover? My very first recommendation right off the bat would be give yourself at least like one, ideally two rest days within your week. Just let your body fully recover so you actually have a chance to be building muscle. That's my first recommendation. Since I'm just so hung up on the workout piece of it, we're just going to continue on with the exercise portion of it. So he does cardio and body weight exercises, but he's trying to build muscle. Are you new to working out? If so, that's okay. Like if you're new to working out, body weight exercises are appropriate. But if you're not new to working out, then it's probably time to start lifting weights. If you're doing a lot of like body weight squat, time to move towards the dumbbells, the squat rack, etc. cetera. Yeah, I mean, body weight exercise only carry you so far. They might get the heart rate going. You might feel like you're getting a pump going. At some point, if you're not increasing the intensity of your workouts, especially by increasing the amount of weight that you're lifting or moving in your exercise, you're not going to be able to build as much muscle as if you did do that. So biggest recommendation here, if you're trying to build muscle, you got to lift some weights. Um, all right, then you're doing cardio as well. Cardio is cool and all, um, great for heart health. I'm not trying to discourage cardio here, but if you're trying to build muscle, I would probably more heavily focus on the weight training, lifting more there, giving yourself adequate rest, making sure we are getting that protein in your body and not doing as much cardio. He did mention he wants to lose weight too. So fine, you can find a blend of those two in, in your routine. So if you're just strictly building muscle, I would say, nix the cardio start lifting some weights if you're trying to do both fine what i'd probably recommend you do then is lift weights three four days of the week do one to two cardio routines within your plan and kind of call it quits maybe get walks in for extra movement and such but i really wouldn't go too crazy on the cardio also another note on the cardio piece of it too there's a difference between going super intense on your cardio like a spin class and you're like really like busting your ass at spin class or if you're just doing like steady state cardio where you're just maintaining a certain speed for a given amount of time it's a little bit different right and the reason why i bring that up is because as you're trying to lose weight you're going to want to be in a caloric deficit and we're going to get into that more heavily here in a second in order to get into a caloric deficit you have to cut your calories as you're cutting your calories one of your challenges is going to be is to prevent yourself from getting too hungry all the time. So you don't want to be starving. If you're really revving up the cardio and you're doing high intensity stuff, you're really going super crazy. You're going to be super hungry afterwards. And then if I come by and tell you like, hey, this is going to be your meal after you work out, you're not going to find that so cool because that meal is going to go good and you're going to be sitting there and being like, okay, great, I'm still hungry. So if you're trying to lose weight, you don't want to go super crazy on the cardio doing like walks, doing more steady state cardio where you're just going at a given speed for a certain amount of time. That is strenuous, but not too strenuous that you couldn't be doing it for an hour. And so, so if you're not doing those things, then you're probably more likely going to just instill more hunger and you really don't want to be doing that. So my biggest recommendation for this guy's exercise program is three to four days of strength training in there. Start picking up some weight, start lifting a little bit heavier, 
and cut down on the cardio. Give it once, twice a week to lose weight and then really focus on that caloric deficit piece of it and that nutrition piece of it. I don't care if he starts walking all day long, right? That's fine too. Increase your steps. That's totally fine. But you don't go super crazy on the cardio again. I feel like I, be I beat a dead horse on that one. All right. So I credit some numbers on this guy. And my actual protein recommendation is going to be 178 grams of protein. That is his body weight in kilograms times two. That's going to be my recommendation for him in order to build muscle. I'm actually recommending more than he thinks he needs and more than he actually is able to ingest. I do have a lot of questions about how he's not able to get more than 110 grams of protein in. Like, what kinds of protein are you eating? Are you vegan? What are your sources? Do you have access to protein powders and such? I'm not quite sure if he is certain that he's not getting enough protein in, to be honest, because 100 grams of protein is pretty easy to get in. 100 grams of protein is basically a protein shake once a day, plus three eggs, plus a source of protein for lunch and dinner. That should be fairly attainable. However, he's struggling. So this guy needs 178 grams of protein. How are we going to do that? I'm going to recommend that he eats four meals a day. He's also trying to lose weight. So I just want to make sure that he has opportunities to eat throughout the day without getting hungry in between. It would be breakfast, lunch, a snack, and dinner. For each meal, I recommend getting around 44.5 grams of protein in. Again, that's an average I'd like for us to hit for every meal. I'm not saying we have to get 44.5 grams in at every single meal, but we need to kind of get that on average. For breakfast, some recommendations would be a cup of egg whites with a cup of cottage cheese and some veggies. It could be a smoothie with double scoops of protein powder in there. It could also be one and a half cups of Greek yogurt with two tablespoons of hemp seeds and some berries. And that would give us between 40 to 50 grams of protein right there. For lunch, in his case, he's trying to lose weight. So I'd probably do something like veggies and protein in there. I'm not going to cover too much on carbs today. But, you know, making sure we have some source of starchy carbohydrates in there, too, since he's trying to build muscle. But it's going to be around six ounces of protein. It could be chicken. It could be jerky, lean beef, fish, whatever he wants. Six ounces. That will give you 40 to 50 grams of protein right there. And we're not even counting protein sources from potential starches and such that might be in his diet. Then for a snack, I'd recommend doing like a protein shake, getting some jerky. He's young. He's active. He needs the sodium from the jerky in case you're worried about that. Getting some Greek yogurt in there again from a cup to a cup and a half. That'll be another 30 to 50 grams of protein right there. Then for dinner, the exact same amount of protein as for lunch. Six ounces of either chicken, turkey, beef, fish, whatever he wants, 40 to 50 grams. If we add that all up, that's going to give him 150 to 200 grams of protein right there. That should be fairly achievable. Here are some other tips I'm going to give right now for helping to build muscle. You know, besides treat, besides switching up his training routine because I really don't like his program. I would recommend taking creatine. I would also recommend, you know, looking into the carbs piece of it. That's going to take a little bit of like some some fine tuning because I want him to have some carbs in his diet, but I want to make sure we're not overeating on them either so to help with the weight loss piece of it. That also goes for fats, to be honest, but a lot of times it's easier for us to focus on carbs. But if we're cooking a lot from home, we tend to eat a little bit less fat than if we were eating out all the time. But again, fats and carbs kind of depend a little bit on the person and depends on what our setting is and our meals and such. And then, of course, taking two rest days. Like this guy, he works out every single day, which I kind of find hard to believe. But if he does, and that is the truth, like we need to build in that rest day just to help us recover properly. What other questions do you have for me around this guy? Let me know in the comments below. And I hope this guy finds this video because he needs help.